guys welcome back today we're gonna play my favorite commander maybe my favorite i don't know one of my favorites probably the commander i've played with the most this is historic brawl tower end edition we're gonna be playing tower end but first i'm gonna explain the deck a little bit and before i even get into the cards that are in the deck i want to go through some of the cards that i don't own that might be in the deck if i had them um first we have stifle but actually before i do that let me tell you what this deck's about. Tower and Sky Summer. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you create a 2 2 Blue Drake. Flying. Create a bunch of flyers. Swing in for lots of damage. In the meantime, counter everything we can. Play more draw. Try to keep the board clear. Try to protect Tower and. All while we just create 2 2 flyers. Um, that's it. So there's lots and lots and lots and lots of counter magic. Start with Stifle. Counter target activated or triggered ability. If I had this card, it'd probably be in here instantly. Same thing with Swan Song. Counter target enchantment, instant, or sorcery spell, but it gives the controller a 2 2. No problem. Uh, Triska Dedekafello. Triska Dedekafal. Triska Dedekafal. Okay. Um, this is a good card that could be a win condition. Just get rid of these as I talk about them. This card could be a win condition. Um, you want more win condition. You don't you can't really get there with Tower and I can see it. Ratchet Bomb, more removal, always good. This deck doesn't have a lot of solid removal, so Ratchet Bomb would be great. Um Nimble Obstructionist. Whenever you cycle him, you get to counter activate or triggered ability. If you guys saw the historic staples list, you know that these these abilities are near and dear to my heart. Probably run that guy. Uh release to the wind, exile target nine land permanent. For as long as it remains exiled, its owner may cast it. it. Yes, they can play it right again, but it's just a whole different kind of spell that could come in really, really useful. Next, we come to Home of the Infinite, which conjures a random card. I think it's like Lightning Bolt, Swords of Plowshares, Giant Growth. If you can conjure a Lightning Bolt or Swords of Plowshares, it's so useful. So maybe consider that. Kira, Great Glass Spinner, um, just for more protection on Tower Ran, if you want to run that, it's not a bad option. Apollo, Warden of Waves, again, more protection for Tauran. I want to run all this stuff. If I did run any of it, I might sneak one or two of these cards in. Crafty Cut Purse, whenever he enters the battlefield, each token that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control, so you do this in response to a token creation effect, preferably a mass token creation effect. Not a bad card to have. Um, Spell Swindle, this card is definitely going in here. When I get it, it's so good. You get extra mana. It's a ramp, counter spell, love it. Time warp. I don't run any uh time walking spells, but I I might run it. If I did, I'd run probably time warp. Then we got Mordecai in. This guy could just create more creatures and um uh, constantly creating creating creatures could be good. Especially if you could protect them a little bit already. And you're gonna be drawing a lot of cards, so alternate win condition maybe and uh Jin Kataxis. If you get this guy out, they discard their hand pretty much and they're playing off the top of their deck. As long as you have one counter spell per turn. You can stop everything they're doing for the rest of the game, except stuff that can't be countered, obviously. Let me go to lands. Um, it's pretty basic. I would run Arc of Orizak or Orazka and uh, Scavenging Grounds because they're both really good and they're two lands that I definitely need in my collection soon. Now, the cards that are actually in here. First, we have Tauran. We know what he does, but then we go to Pact and Negation, zero costing. <laughs> Beginning your upkeep, you pay five if you don't lose the game. Really good um, for whenever you're tapped out and they think they can pull something off. It's a great card. I know I'm not going to go deep into the counter spells that I'm running, but I'm going to just run through them. Uh, any of the counter spells are just because they are the best counter spells I thought in this format and with this commander. So I'll just go through all the counter spells. Anything that I feel like needs explanation, I'll stop and explain. Um, Annul, Brainstorm, Fading Hope, Miscast, Spell Pierce, and Syncopate. Syncopate, not the greatest card in um, Historic Brawl, but it's so good. I mean, you're going to find a time to play it. It won't be like a dead card ever. Disdainful Stroke, Essence Scatter, Jewelry Disruption, Keep Safe. Now, this is to protect Tauran. We want to keep him up, keep him safe, and it's a counter spell with the, with the card draw, so card advantage as well. Lofty Denial, Memory Lapse, Negate, Ominous Seas. This is going to be like an alternate win condition. You're drawing lots of cards, so getting 8-8 for free off of that is really, really good. 
Quench, Search for Ascanta, more card advantage. Tails End, run this in every blue commander deck. I don't care. Counterspell, the classic. Hypnotic Sprite, Narset's Reversal. Now this is good for whenever you are building a stack with somebody. Oh, they want to respond to Counterspell, then you can just say, well, I'll respond by copying my own Counterspell, or just using it against a big, really, really big spell that someone else plays. Pretty good card. I want to run too many of those effects, though. We got some Mana Rocks, and then we got Thassa's Intervention, Counterspell, or Card Advantage, you choose. Flip the Switch, Midnight Clock, Ramp, Mystical Dispute, Verity Circle. Now, this is a really good card that can just slow things down. More importantly, if they have some Flyers and you have the Drakes going, you can move stuff out of your way that you need to get out of your way. Whirlwind Denial, run this again in every Commander deck that's blue, if I can. Raising Borrower. Cancel. Didn't say please. Disallow. Dissipate. Lots and lots of counter spells. Narset to get more counter spells. Stop their card advantage. Neutralize. Saw it coming. Sinister sabotage. Yes. More counter spells. Thought collapse. Wizard retort. You find the villain's lair. Love that card. Archmage's charm. One of my favorite new counter spells. The Celestis. More mana rock. Blue sun zenith. Get some card draw, recurring card draw. Behold the multiverse, chemistry's insight. We got more card draw, more card advantage with precognition field, precognition field, devious cover up to get some cards back into our deck that we want back. Rewind, more counter, and then whelming wave. This is going to be some pseudo removal, some of the only removal we got in this deck. Graven lore, more card draw. Voracious great shark. That's uh, some counter magic. Commit a little bit more removal with a. Uh, Card advantage built in, Shark, Shark Typhoon, another win condition. Usually always just want to play this card because you're playing so many instants and sorceries. I don't know if there are any other creatures besides the other Shark. I don't think there are. Uh, Flood of Tears, more removal, uh, sweeping your board. Then we got Rivers Rebuke, sweeping your opponent's board. Uh, Sublime Epiphany does way too much. Card draw in the end of the story. And then Ugin has some more removal. We already talked about Blue Suns. It's a lot of removal, card draw, counter magic. I mean, there's not a lot of removal, but there is some. And that's just the whole deck. You want to get Talrand out as fast as possible with a little protection so he can't be killed. And then from there, he should be golden. Going to our lands Castle Vantress, all of the storm giants, uh, mana land or man land, cycling, lonely sandbar, mystical sanctuary, get some counter magic back, Riptide Laboratory, protect Talrand. Snow covered islands. We're gonna run them because we have the Graven Lore in here. Um, crawling Barons, more Manlands, Hall of the Oracles. Just a good card to pump up some stuff. Labyrinth of Scophos, some protection, good defenses, control, um, Tyrite Sanctum. Another thing to protect our Tauran. Um, I do want to talk about the Manlands in this deck. The Manlands in this deck are so so important because there are no creatures, so they can win the game for you sometimes. And you need them. Maybe run another one. I could probably run the uh, snow one. Or the, there's a bunch. There's a bunch that are all good. But I, I felt like two was enough. All right. Enough of the deck. Let's get into the games. I do have an extra five games of Tower End that I'll be playing fast forwarded at the end. Uh, four times speed. If it's too fast, let me know. I'll, I'll slow it down for the next one. And let's go. First game with Tower End. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get paired up. Right, it looks like we're playing against that token guy. I forget his name. He's kind of new. Matilda. It's like Matilda with a K. Not the best hand, not the worst hand. I'll play it. We'll get Tower End out. Potentially have some protection for him on turn four. Dawnheart Prime. Matilda Dawnheart Prime. And they started off with the tap land. Makes me feel good. We're gonna count we're gonna counter this guy. Hopefully make them feel bad. Um. Can't play this Katilda again, so I'll play Celestis. Midnight Clock would be cool too, but 
not a big deal. Either one works. This could probably give me some card advantage sooner. Okay, he's got a 2-3 with Outlast, which means uh, pay one, tap it, put a bone counter on this creature. It only has a sorcery. Um, yeah, let's get this out. Building our board state is actually pretty good. We have a land, so that's even better. We need that. Maybe we'll get a spell pierce on top of it. Well, underneath it, not on top. I don't know if it's just lag or if people just been playing slow. I think people are just playing slow. Let's get get a quick look at Katilda here. Katilda, Dawnheart Prime, green and white. Legendary Human Warlock. Protection from werewolves. Human creatures you control will have tap. Add one man of any cut of this creature's colors. Pay four and a white and a green. Tap, put a woman counter on each creature you control. A lot of strong, strong things going on. <laughs> uh, they're not doing anything, though. Are they, are they mana screwed and now they're just gonna like time me out? Oh. Oh no, he's gonna do something. Okay. I'm gonna have to play a card unless they pay X, where X is his power. Yeah, that's that's gonna be really, really good for him, so I don't want that guy to be out too much. He's going to put an outless counter on him. Cool. Anything else, bro? Playing on elf. Most likely, we're not going to be able to go to town round next turn. I mean, they could. Because Fading Hope is not. Be my own creature. Yeah. That I don't want to do that. I can. Pass and turn. I hate to have to do this, but I don't. I won't mind when I get to play it on him, but I will mind if I have to play it on Tower Room. We're gonna play that on Tower Room. Get our Drake token. Where's our book on? Tower? Pretty good to have that coming up. We're gonna like force the midnight clock next turn, have flip the switch open. <coughs> That's taken forever. Come on, man. I'm recording a video here. Take a fucking time. I'm guessing he's gonna outlast here. No, he's gonna put it there. And for three, be smart to start doing damage to. Him. I don't know why he won it. Did I do the old hello? Where some people do that? Your turn. Here go. Here go. I'm not gonna do it to him. I don't know if he's just trying to slow pay, play me to make me quit. This is a slow play deck. I play slow. What do you think? I play fast, but I don't do nothing for a while. It takes a long time. Alright, bro. No blocks. My turn. About the clock. Line. My turn. Land on top. I'm hoping he gets his land, plays his guy. 
Unless we just play Rivers Rebuke next turn. Blood of Tears probably isn't going to happen ever. This game. I don't know what kind of that guy. I don't really care to like just force playing this. Which is also, by the way, it's return all non land permanent target player controls to the hunter's hand. I don't need it right now. We haven't done enough damage, but we have it ready. We can get like a, a counter spell. There we go. Okay, so we do tower and turn. Actually, let's go to combat. We'll attack with this dude. He's useless otherwise. He might kill the creature. He might not. Probably not. He just takes the two. But this guy plays super slow. Let's look at some of the cards on the board. We have Midnight Clock. Adds blue. Every upkeep, you put a Midnight Counter on it when there's 12. Let me remove all the midnight counters, then each player? No, then I shuffle my graveyard in my library and draw seven. Graveyard and hand. One mana left. Really mind that. Let's count that. Like I said, I don't want to force Rivers Rebuke yet. And now we have a Hypnotic Sprite. In hand. We'll draw something else. Maybe it's a land. That would suck if it is. Countless bodyguard. He chose. Chose. It is a land. Let's go with our rivers rebuke now, because this will be fine. Get another Drake. We get to swing six. <laughs> Take the lead. <laughs> If he kills Tauran, we should be okay. And we're gonna pay so he doesn't. We won't be able to counter that guy yet, though. That's what I kind of don't like about it, but it's okay. We're just trying to keep our momentum going. He has so many cards in hand, and he hasn't hit land drops, which is confusing to me. Two lands he has. He has the uh, man land that comes to XX, and he has other other than that just mana producing. We got the Celestis. We got Precognition Field. We got Midnight Clock. Precognition Field says, "Look at the top card of your library any time. You may cast instant sorcery spells from the top. Pay three exile top card of your library." So we can get those lands out of our way. And then Midnight Clock again. Midnight Clock also uh, on top of what I said earlier, you can pay three and put count. We can get to that twelve. He's searching for a land. I, I I doubt this guy stays in his hand. This we'll see that hit the board. Hmm. Nice. But all my stuff lives, which is great. I think it goes with the sprite. That would be good, I think, because it would back it twice. One player. I don't know what to do then. Cross four, probably, unless I just had nothing else to do. Damn, this game's been super long. It's because this guy plays so slow. Give him a nice. Nice trying to slow roll me. He didn't pick anything. Did he get logged out? I might have just won by default. I think we just win now, or he, he quit the game. 
Good attack with tower in too, because I kind of knew that that was happening. Got extra hit in. Draw that card. Yes. He's good. I don't know what to call that game. All right, guys, here we go into round two. I don't know what round one was, but it was a win. It just kind of was a win. I don't think that guy, that deck was going to win after that. Anyway, if he did have bad signal, if he didn't. So against Catilda, Dawnheart Prime, we have one. Yeah, we're going up against Catilda, Dawnheart Prime again. <laughs> so silly. We'll do an extra game because of that. Even if I lose, especially if I lose. It wasn't the best. Don't draw land next turn. I think I have to play Mystic Sanctuary. We're going to make storm here just to find out. They're on to play. Wish I had a counter spell for it. This might be the same guy. Oh, wow. They don't have the white source. I go. Put that one and that one back. Out of the order. Okay, so now we have Quench, we have Counterspell, we have a Null. We have three Counterspells. Oh. Wow, he doesn't have a White Spurs. I have four Counterspells. Quench it. Hold the Multiverse. Back our... Brainstorm. We're gonna need lands. Not a foretell. None of that. Nice. But they do have a chance to play something else. The artifact or enchantment, though, I can counter it. Okay. Um, because I don't have a land drop, I'm gonna brainstorm now. That that back. It matter. We gotta have some protection up for tower end. So next turn we can play him if we don't use the counter spell. I did not use it. All right, it's not the same person, but this is the fox. Last time it was zero. Maybe it's my signal, or maybe this deck just makes you think a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to play Behold the Multiverse. I don't know if he's going to let me. He already year go me, so I should year go him. What kind of... All in all, I should have foretold hold. Actually, yeah. I didn't want it to work out either way. Dalren is like a crab in a barrel going out there by himself without protection. What we can do with this? We might be able to draw something. I'm probably not going to be able to draw something. Go out there and that. Rock can't do nothing about it.
Hey, Tyron. That doesn't do much if he doesn't get any more creatures. <laughs> I'll draw a card off it. Okay. But yeah, anything he plays. We'll do a no just so that we can uh, threaten to play something else in response. But we don't really have to. I don't want that. Okay. Paradox Engine. I see. I mean, that's a good card. Really, really good card in there. We're not going to. It's when you cast a spell. Okay. Right, let's go with all attacks. Act for four. Get our lead going and end turn. Not much really happening on his end with that paradox engine without much more happening. Okay, this is where we counter. Get a Drake. And that's what this deck does. While you're countering stuff, you're just inherently producing Drakes and Getting more things to win with. Solid comedy knew there was no chance no way out of that. We were gonna draw three uh three off our Graven Lord that turn, so Catilda Dawnheart Prime. It seems like it's not too too much of a threat for this. But <laughs> never know. Maybe those are just people that maybe that deck's hot right now and people are piloting it like crazy, so they don't really know how to pilot it. Anything can happen. This is not a, a competitive format. A fun format, but I like to think about it like it. All right, here we are on game three. I don't hate it. I'll keep it. If I draw a different land next turn, I cannot play this, but if I don't, I have to play. It enters tapped, and on turn three, I want to play. Right. Got a different land. Now we can counter something. Oh, we are playing against Maronar. I don't think I've played against this in uh all yet. I've definitely played against it in command. Oh, it's just a rat everything rat deck. So I just wanna counter everything. We can bounce the first one. <laughs> yeah. So this time we're just going to go for Tower End. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Got some protection for not, not the best protection, but this card has been definitely uh supplementing protection for him. <clears throat> okay. Well thank you. We'll get a Drake. And we're going to play defense with these guys. We have the Whelming Man. If needed. Five, six mana. Put that touch. I don't think I wanted this card. card. What's the most rats he can play too? I can counter them both, get two breaks. I think just to get so much value out of it for that. Normally wouldn't care. Only have our blockers. 
And we're gonna block both of them. They're not gonna attack. They'll give us room to play some more, and then we're gonna counter that guy. And we mode him six. Hope for some card draw cards later. Here, just a minute. All right, so we are going to attack with our drakes. We can attack with all of them because we have this card draw spell here. And we have the blue on Zenith to trigger and get a drake. So we're just going to attack. In turn, um, we're not going to draw, but we will gain a life. Need that life. That life is super important, especially against like an aggro deck like this. All right, mask with Nexus. I think we counter that guy. Get a Drake. We're gonna block the block the rat colony. Okay, I got Grim Wanderer. It's my turn. We will decline that. Search for Ascanta. I kind of want to play that. We have six. Let's play that. We could draw one off of our uh, Blue Sun Zenith. We'll keep one of these guys. We can uh, double block this guy. Even if they kill Tower End right now, we're not too worried about it. All rats have fear, can only be blocked by black or artifact creatures. Can only be blocked. Oh, he's not a rat. I'm equal five. I'm gonna draw one off the blue sun zenith. I need. They haul the storms, we're gonna flip it. Put that in the graveyard, that should trigger enough. Yep, transform it. We're not gonna be playing any spells, so I'll just play that. Go to combat. Back with all of our flyers. That's eight in there. And I did make a bad play mistake, but I think it's gonna be okay. And turn this will trigger. I will draw cards and I discard the land. Yes, that's a good card to draw. It's gonna give me four more cards. Don't regret regret using that X draw X spell for one. Heartless act. We can get enough mana to counter that. Let's draw four. Get a Drake. And I didn't get a counter spell, but he scoops because I had lethal. All right, game four. We're three and zero. Oh, Tower ramp. doing good. This is the best we've been with any of the decks yet. This is the third episode in the series. So if you haven't seen the other two, first we did Oswald Fiddlebender, and then we did Heliod. Um, now we're doing Tower ramp. Next week we're going to be doing the black. I don't know who I'm going to use yet. Uh, a black commander though. Some black commander. Mono black, and then next we're going to be doing mono red, and then we're going to do mono green. Again, I don't know what I'm using for any of those yet. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out when we get there, but stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Here we are. Yadric, Astral Archmage. Well, we're going to keep this. Red, blue, we're against tempo. Roll versus tempo. And we want to play our brainstorm. Not this turn, but on to end of their turn.
right now works. Put these lands back on there. Submit two, doesn't matter the order really. And next turn we can counter something. What do we got? You have no maximum hand size. Draw two cards. Whenever you draw a card, put a one counter on target creature you control. Cool. We probably won't be likely to get Tau ran out very quick against them, but that's okay. If we draw lands over and over again, we might be able to. I think their commander attempts to come out here. We'll syncopate it for one. We don't have to worry about that guy for a while. Okay, so he, this might be like a ramp deck. Kind of weird blue red ramp. Then knight enters, comes with knight. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is his power. And whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, put a plus one counter on. Okay, so he just keeps getting bigger as you play spells. We'll dissipate that. Now we have a little bit of protection for Tauran. So let's throw him out there. We can negate anything that comes at him. I think he's just going to play his commander. Don't mind going 1v1 with that guy. I don't mind that either. He didn't draw a land. Gonna activate his wizard class. Draw two cards, he really needs to land here. Nothing. Let's put some counters on this thing. Play a land and and turn. If he doesn't play anything, I can't play anything, and, and and that might be a good way to beat me. He doesn't have the land. Damn, he has a lot of cards in there. I think a, a big problem with some of these people's decks is that they're using the suggested land number, which I think is like thirty six. No way. You need at least forty. Most decks, maybe more. I like to play 40 even, but some decks I do play more than 40. But let's try to stop him from drawing. So we can't get that land. Put another counter on this guy. Now we got a 4-4. Four -four. It could be a 6-6 six -six this time. We'll do turn this into a guy. <coughs> Leaving us with uh, four mana still. If only it had vigilance. Really, really good. And, I mean, it's been slow playing playing spells, so. Sometimes you just gotta resort to something else, and that's where these manlands come. I'm in clutch. Let's use this thing. Save our disallow. Get another Drake. And they scooped. Best game. Shit, game four done. Game five. And like I said, after this game. Um, hopefully we're five and zero. Oh. We will look at um, the other games I played with Tauram. The audio was lost, so we just have video footage. I'm gonna play it in four times speed. If you guys want to check out those games, I, I'll spoil it now. I did not go five and zero, oh, and I played against Nicol Bolas, Gisa, Pesa, Yurian, and Zakama. Let's see where our last game's against Katilda. <laughs> Only right. Third match against Katilda. Mm-hmm.
play Island Go. So dumb. So dumb. Uh, we're going to play our Ominous Seas here. Next turn we'll probably bounce Katilda. I definitely need to do some digging pretty early, but <laughs> let's leave it how it is for now. Excuse me. Other tag creatures you control have dead touch. Other untag creatures you control have hex proof. What the heck? I don't like that at all. Probably get a wave plan tower in here, but I don't want to. I'm not going to counter much. I want to try to find some answers to all this. this pop. He didn't use Micaeus. That's weird. Let's draw. Let's get our card draw on. And that's what I'm... Yeah. Also getting an 8-8 eight, eight out wouldn't be too bad right now. And more more than that, I wanted to see some return all creatures to their owner's hands. Type spells. We might have to do it again. That would bring us to seven. Or we couldn't do it. There's a right here. Not him. Come in with the team. And I can take 10. Really relying on um, 3 out of 85 cards in my deck right now. This card. Island. Didn't get it yet, but we could still draw it. Let me get our 8 8 here. Think of anything to answer this best, but we're not dead. Guess I could have foretold this, been safe. One to find block. Oh, he wants to give everybody ward. I get it. I don't really care though. Uh, give me three left. Let's put this guy back. Yeah, 
Awesome. The town ran out. I might have pulled this off. I don't know why he didn't swing out. I could have won. Hit it. On a hard counter it. That's a flyer. Nice. Good shot block. The one I'm drawing. The oh, lamb, we have three counter spoke. In turn. And play all three. I might end up using this. Or not. We also have this to just block the flyer if we have to. First, we're going to do this guy. I'll do this card to trigger get a Drake. These two, six. We're gonna activate this blue, blue. Get this guy, raisin borrower. That's the block. Here's the block here, here, and. Get a Drake. That guy's super powerful. I want him being out. Draw a card. You have five counters on that. Play our Crawling Barons. Play Precognition Field. Top card. Um, let's enter. And they're going to tap this guy down every single time. Make sure this taps right. There's not much I can do to counter that. Not a lot of two drop spells that'll hit it. Won't it won't hit it. But we're one away from getting another little piece of our cracking, and we have tails in it. I didn't mean to do that. I right, hit twice, right? Oh. Yeah. Whatever. That was dumb. I didn't mean to, but we just build up our dudes. Maybe he'll feel comfortable in playing something here. This is going to be a long game if I win. Let's 
is entering. We have a mystical dispute over here. Let's get another one just in response. Just to be funny, it's not the right play, but it's funny. Play Tails End. Get another Drake. I always draw the draw a card off the line stone to you have to. Really, really don't want that guy coming back out. that and now we have disdainful stroke that's not going to be too useful see what he wants to do here he has to attack Let's put a counter on tower in. I want to get him to be industry. Draw card. I guess I should just save that, but something I don't want to be on top of the deck later. Put um, that. Oh, yeah, that actually has been in there for a couple minutes. No tax enter. I really don't like that being on top. Trying to figure out a way to keep it from being there. Subscribe <laughs> one when you cast a creature, get a green. Okay, that's fine. Um. What's this one? Counter him. I'll pay their green. Oh, they didn't pay their green. Okay. Gonna attack with their two two. Here. We will use this to make Tauran a god. I mean, to make him an indestructible god. And then. I could have exiled it, but I, I do want to search. Just can't. Uh, we're going to play that. They have one flyer over there. I don't think it's the time to attack yet. Actually, we can go to the combat. Let's go with these two. Good eight damage in, and it killed killing of a creature. It's a two-two knight token with vigilance. Okay. 
Um, end turn. I do have Essence Scatter for their creature. I'm going to put a 1-1 counter on Micaeus. Rye from his Life Crafters Bestiary. Destiary. The Bestiary. He doesn't have enough for that. So we'll counter that. Alright, so that's countered. Is green. Draw a card. What do we got? All right, we're gonna pay this to exile the castle. I mean, I hate to do it, but. And then we will exile that too. I don't really need any, either one of them. We have two man lands. We can start turning things sideways. There's a land on top. For all that, actually, we'll put that in the graveyard. We need more, more things. Transform, search for this Kanta. Just some more card advantage, draw a regular land now. We're gonna play that one. We are going to go to combat, swim with our two eight eights. Leave all of our mana up because we could just pretty much do whatever we want. Have target creature. Nah, I'll counter it. And they get to draw a card. I think. Of course they got Hollow Oracle stuck on top. Um, put that in the graveyard. Now we have Pact of Negation. Three counter spell. Attack with our two eight eights. This game is definitely going way longer than it was supposed to, but sometimes that happens. Those are the best ones. Another eight damage, and they're down to thirteen. We're getting them closer and closer to our level. I don't want end turn. Let's try. Okay. Generous soul. We will pack the negation that. Leaving us the island on top, so we don't really be happy about that. I think they only have one flyer, so we win next turn. Yeah, that's game. Thank God. That took so long. That's 5-0. and 5-0. Oh. and oh. Three games were against Catilda, though. <laughs> Whatever. All right, guys. I forgot to give it a little outro here, but there is going to be five more games playing at four times speed. If you guys think that's too fast, let me know in the comments. But um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any other suggestions or you want to see a certain commander or brawl leader, whatever they call it in brawl. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.